Hi, in this video I want to talk about this node here, change range. What it does is it remaps an incoming value from a source range to a target range. But it doesn't have to be a single value, it can also be a, you know, an array of values. So I'm connecting this to the value and well, it actually comes in like this. This is what it's by default. So what I want to do here is I want to use the min and the max values as our source range. So I set this to 0 and 10. And then I want to remap it to 0 to 1 range. So I want to normalize it. And this over here will kind of visualize what's going to happen. So again, this is our source range, the blue area. These uh, yellow guys are our values. And this is our target range. So essentially what's going to happen is this is going to be squished down to whatever we specify in our nodes, so in this case 0 to 1. And we can see the values moving accordingly. And that's what we're going to get. So 0 remaps to 0, 10 remaps to 1, and 6 would remap to 0 0.6. Now, if we turn clamp off, well, in this case, in this example, it wouldn't make a difference. But let's say we had also a value 12 here with clamp off. That this would get remapped to 1.2 just based on that ratio that we defined here. But if clamp is on, this would just get remapped to one. So anything above our max value would get remapped to one. Anything below would get remapped to zero. And of course we can put anything we want in here. So if we set this to four and five, then what this means would be like this. I'm going to undo this. And one other thing that's quite useful is this node here. So you may not even know the min and max values of your array. And if you don't know them and you want to use them as a from start, from end, you can use this guy and just plug it in here. This will just give you the min and max values of the array. And that can be quite useful. Okay, so that's the basics really. Now, I have a very, very simple example here where I, I just have a grid of cubes. And I want to use fractal noise to scale them, but the fractal noise, if we place a watch point here, we can see it gives, and with this, these settings, it'll give me values between minus 1.2, sort of, and 1.2. Well, let's say I want to scale them between 0 and 1 again. So I have uh, cubes that are 0 and maximum 1. For that, I have this change range node. I set this to minus 1, 1, use clamp, remap. Uh, to a 0 to 1 range. And if I plug this in instead, we can see that now we've got those set.